Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi, Welcome good back. How are you? Good. And you? I'm better. Better than last Friday. Okay. Yeah. What happened on Friday? The Friday. Mm, Friday. I had a sore throat, so it was difficult for me to finish the class speaking. <laughs> Uh, but on the weekend, I tried to rest my throat, and I think it worked because I feel much better today. I was drinking tea with some gargantinas and trying not to speak too much. Okay. Do you need a, a tequila? <laughs> a shot I don't know yes. some people say that it works but I don't know <laughs> okay okay yeah so let's get started as we wait for the rest of your classmates let's try to catch up about what we were well about our weekend right as I told you right you had to rest relax and do a lot of things so from one to ten how was your weekend Francisco um, how was your weekend and why the reason why you say that it was five, it was six, it was 10, it was nine. Good. 10 is the top. Okay. Uh, the Saturday, I I need to work. Mm -hmm. uh, Only the, in the morning. Uh, all the day. All day. Gee, yes, yeah, okay. all day. Uh, <clears throat> the. Uh, 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 Mm. Uh, I have a domingo. Tengo una laguna mental. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday, sorry. The yeah, don't Sunday, worry, that happens. The, the Sunday is good, however, uh, for in the morning, it uh, was raining. Estuvo lloviendo. It was raining. It, it was, was raining. raining, yeah. It was raining. Uh, in my house, it re uh, was raining very hard. Around to the 10 a.m., it finished to rain. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was heavy. That was heavy. Okay, Diana, before you fall asleep. <laughs> 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 Sorry. How was your weekend from one to ten? Uh, it why? was okay. It was five, I think. Five. Um, I okay. continued a little bit sick on Saturday, but I, but I went to the beach, <laughs> though. So as a therapy, I enjoy as, it. As a med yes. medicine. Okay. <laughs> And yesterday I get I got relaxed at my home, and because uh, uh, Francisco was raining all day. Yeah, okay, okay, nice. Uh, which beach did you go to? Uh, La Libertad. Mm. In, in Sunsal, I think it was. Okay, Sunsal is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see the next one. Thank you, Diana. Nice to see you again. Ana Beatriz. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Hi. How was your weekend from 1 to 10? It was really nice. I went to new a new place in El Salvador. It's called Alcatao. It's in Chalatenango. Wow. That's a new name for me. Yeah. Okay. I visit I visit there with my family. Nice. Uh, it's a it's a small town but uh -huh. has a beautiful landscape around the road. Is it near uh, La Palma or no is is after Chalatenango the in the longitudinal longitudinal del norte road ah, longitudinal del norte I got it. yes 
you visit a cafe. Uh, there is uh -huh. a is artesanal and visit a a small shop. They sell pizza and hamburgers. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice town. I didn't I didn't know there, but this weekend we plan we come with my family visit there and visit know there. and know how how is the place. It's a small but it's, it's it's beautiful. Okay, excellent. Thanks for sharing that, uh, Mariela. From one to ten, how was your weekend and why? Eight. Eight. Why? Um, because well, Saturday I go to the doctor. Oh, and okay. I sleep on the afternoon and Sunday. I can out oh, because it was a event close to my house and the traffic was horrible. Mm. Then I just in my house all day. Okay, all day. Got it. Uh, Juan Jose, thank you, Mariela. Hi, good evening. Good evening. From one to 10, how was your weekend and why? <laughs> Um, Saturday in the morning, I uh, I work in the office. Work. Okay. Uh, in the afternoon, um, I continue working, but in activities about uh, preparing classes because uh, in uh, fifteen uh, days we are going to to start the class. Uh, it's necessary to to prepare, to plan. Yeah, to prepare yes. and plan everything. Yeah. Uh, yes, and um, in the Sunday, in the morning, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. went went to my daughter's and celebrated the birthdays of my wife. Wow, and, oh, that's nice. Uh, in the afternoon, I tried to rest a little because uh, uh, the Monday is very hard, very hard, and I tried a little in the afternoon. Excellent, thank you so much, Juan Jose. Okay. That was a nice weekend. Uh, Mr., hey, let me check, no, it's, who's next? Oh, Brenda, you're next. Yeah, <laughs> the question, from one to ten, how was your weekend and why? <laughs> I will let that picture to talk. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's it. That's, a <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? It's a beach. Um, uh -huh. um, okay. What's the name? It yeah, beautiful. it's a Cahutla Beach. Mm -hmm. a Cahutla. A Cahutla Beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I went there to spend some time with my family, my parents, my grandma. Uh -huh. By the way, she's mm, 96 years old. Wow. Almost 100. Yeah, but she's Amazing. very uh, strong still. I think she has more than 10 years there. <laughs> wow, more, then, more, um, more than 10 yeah. years to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you have to see. <laughs> sure. And then uh, I, yeah, I was just there enjoying with my family. And then that was Saturday after work. And then on Sunday, I was just there preparing for Monday, all the things that I need to have ready for work. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, Brenda. And okay. I'm glad for your grandma. <laughs> <You're lucky. laughs> thank you. Okay. Yeah, a lot. Jackie, from one to 10, how was your weekend and why? I cannot hear you, Jackie. For some reason, I cannot hear you. So maybe you can check the microphone. Okay, try to fix it and let me know when it's ready, okay? So I continue with Karen. 
<laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, From one to 10? Well, what, what my score weekend. do you give to your weekend? <laughs> Maybe eight. Eight. Okay. <laughs> That's a good number. Why eight? eight? Uh, um, on Saturday, it was my my son's birthday. So ah. um, you have two, right? Yeah, I have two kids. Okay. Uh, the younger. The was, youngest one. Okay, got it. Yes. And uh, I, I, I make a breakfast for mm. him and for my mom, my aunt, my sister, <laughs> and, and, and all my family uh, in order to celebrate his birthday. Okay. Uh, uh, in the afternoon, I went to um, a wine class. It's not wine testing. It's uh, cata de vinos. Um, yeah, it's, it's a wine wine tasting. Uh, that's, that, that's what that's what they call it, wine tasting. Wine tasting. So yeah, I yeah. went to wine tasting. It was uh, interesting. And on Sunday, I went to I went to my yoga practice in the morning, and in the afternoon, uh, I went to doctor with my son because he was a uh, a pain in in the in the in the oida in the tympano uh -huh. so we so a pain to, in the ear okay got it uh, to the doctor mm -hmm. and and that's it so Perfect. it was a mix fun and <laughs> and not too fun go to the doctor Nice. And the next one, thank you, Karen, is Floor. Hi, teacher. Hello, I see someone behind you. <laughs> yeah, he's my niece. He ah, means... I thought it was a little floor. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my, my weekend was maybe a nine because well i i feel already i feel happy but excited because yesterday i have to do a super cleaning in my house and i have to do the laundry and things like that in my house but i'm happier because i really clean the house great mm -hmm. i'm glad to know that and yeah. Well, that, that, that's good. It's a very productive weekend. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on. And um, the next one is Harvin. Okay, hello, teacher. Hello. Good Welcome. Evening. Good evening. Thank you. Okay, my weekend was, I have to say, eight. Eight. Yes. Uh, all my weekend was so sleepy. I was sleeping all, all on Saturday and Sunday. I was sleepy because I feel not so good. Mm -hmm. I was with a little bit fever. Oh, okay. So, but was no not too bad because I I feel so relaxed right now and I mm -hmm. feel so good and I enjoy my my weekend in my bed with my wife and. We are taking to time to speak and what else do you need? Yeah. Yes, of that's course. perfect. Yes. The simple and most important things in life, right? The time yes, you spend with people that you love. That's right. In and the places that you like, right? Life. Yes. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. So uh, whenever you feel like a little bit tired, that song is good. I feel good. The, the old yes. song that is like rock and roll. I feel good. Na, 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 na. Yes. So you can listen to that in the morning, right? When you're taking a shower and then you have a good feeling for the rest of the day. Yes. Okay. Or maybe okay. during traffic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Or yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Harvin. Uh, Miguel. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. guys. Good evening. Well, so, um, 
uh, I put uh, I put a um, eight maybe. Eight. Okay. Yes. Eight point um, five maybe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Eight. Uh, well, um, on Saturday I work all day, all day, uh, from eight to four p.m. all day. Um, wow. On Sunday, uh, is much relax, more relax. Um, we, I stay with my family in mm -hmm. my house. Um, we enjoy the the movies, some movies like um, for kill. Um, we enjoy the lunch with my family. We prepare our lunch, and in the afternoon. Uh, take a rest uh, for a uh, start today the, the work very good so yeah Thank that's you. really that's really important right now because of time uh we're going for uh well we're missing jackie uh we're missing uh Maritza, Freddy's, Carla, uh, Ruth, Laura, Suleyma, Elizabeth, and Jennifer. Can you please just uh, send a message uh, through the chat so that um, we can listen, uh, well, we can listen, we can read about how your weekend was on a scale from one to 10 and the reasons why, okay? Uh, so as soon as we have a little moment, I'm going to read your comments, right? Through the chat. So, uh, Jackie, do you fix the problem with the microphone? Apparently, no, no. You tried to speak, but we cannot hear you. So you're going to be a little bit silent today. <laughs> or you can try just using the regular uh, speakerphone or... And now, teacher. Yeah, now it's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eh, well, from one to eight to ten. From one to ten. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Uh, well, on Saturday, I used to go to the supermarket. Um, Sunday, uh, we went to El Cerro Verde. But when we were climbing, it started to rain. Oh. And, we, and we got wet. Wet. Okay. Yeah, you got wet. Oh, yeah. Wet. After that, we we went to a restaurant to eat some pupusas and a hot chocolate. Okay. I thought you were Only going to say after food. that we went to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, fortunately, no. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it That's happens, funny. right? That when we're when we are very young. Uh, when we're teenagers or kids, we go and play in the rain and nothing happens. But as you get over, I don't know, 25 or 30, if you get, if you get wet from the rain, uh, you have the possibility of getting sick. So, exactly, but yeah, fortunately we are okay. Yeah, good. So the rest, please write down the message through the chat. I'm going to be reading your messages as soon as we have the chance. So as I promise, okay, today we're going to start by listening to some, some participants saying one tongue twister, okay? So Ruth, you are the first volunteer. Please tell us one tongue twister from the two that we practiced last week. Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, good evening. Uh, <laughs> good evening. I, was, I was talking about my weekend. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, but you will uh, say the okay. tongue twister too, right? Uh, I you not know. <laughs> you don't remember the tongue twisters? No, I, I don't, I don't remember. Don't worry, I'm going to share them. them with you on the screen. Okay. That's not a problem. I am always here to help my students. Okay. <laughs> and... Okay. So, well, by the way, welcome to the week number three. Believe it or not, we are almost in the middle, right, of everything. So time flies, okay? They say when you're having fun, but also when you're doing something productive, okay? Now, uh, wouldn't it be better? That is the session number 11. Uh, later on, we're going to practice that structure. 
And as I was telling you, there were two tongue twisters and these are the ones. So Ruth, you can read any of them. Try to read them or say them as fast as possible. Okay. okay. Sally sits Only one. in a shoe shine uh -huh. shop and where she sits, she, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ruth. Class for her, please. We continue. Uh, Ruth, select one volunteer, please. The options are uh, Jennifer, uh, Blanca, Carla, Maritza, or you can choose Freddie. Freddie, too. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Carla. Carla, okay, perfect. Carla? Hi, hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, okay, Sally sits on the shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. If three witches were watching three watches, which witch will which which watch? Will watch which watch? That's right, okay. Thank you so much. Class for Carla, please. Where are the reactions? Here they are. Good. So let's continue. Carla, choose someone. I forgot to mention that Suleyma and Elizabeth are there too. Uh, Laura cannot speak right now, but she's there. Um, so who do you choose next? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Freddy's. Freddy's. Okay, Freddy's. That's okay. He likes the volunteers. So that's not a problem. Freddy's. Hi. Hello. So which one I have to say? The first the one, one that uh, you choose. For the yeah. Okay. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. If three Excellent. witches were watching three watches, which which will watch which watch? Wow. Fast and furious. <laughs> Freddy Toretto. Thank you so much. Okay. Class here. Okay. What? You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so let choose someone, please. Uh, it can okay. be uh, Maritza. It can be Suleyma. Jennifer. Rolando. Rolando is here. I don't know. Let me check. I think he's not. No, he's not. He's not. No. Oh, okay. Yet. Diana. Uh, Diana is still sick. Uh, so. No. No. Uh, Saturday, I was sick. Okay, today you feel like. <laughs> yeah, Ready. okay. Perfect. Oh my God, I didn't practice this, but okay. Sally sits <laughs> on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Very good. She was modest. Okay. And okay. uh, I choose Jennifer. Jennifer. Thanks, Diana. <laughs> uh, I will say the first one. Okay. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Simple as that, right? So you practice. That's good. Excellent. I'm going to use a heart because you practiced. And if you didn't practice, you did it well. So. Quickly, uh, before I go on, uh, in the chat, some people already shared their answers. Some of them sent it directly to me. Uh, Suleyma had a really good weekend because she visited her new nephew. I know. Yeah, she she met her new nephew, yes, her new cousin, new sorry. Her new cousin, and she was happy because all their family were there. That was on Sunday and Saturday, she was working the day. But at the end, she went to eat some pupusas to Los Planes. So that was a 10. Maritza said that she was working on Saturday in the morning. On Sunday, she was in her house. In the afternoon, it was raining and she was watching TV. Okay, then Anna Elizabeth said that her weekend was at eight because uh, she had to clean the house and do some work. And she has some pending, right? Some uh, things to do. But she enjoyed, enjoyed it with her family and prepared some hamburgers at home. It was funny. Freddie said that his weekend was good. It was a 10 because on Saturday he worked all day, like every Saturday, but on Sunday he was stayed up. He woke up late 
and he plays some video games and watch some movies. Okay, finally, Jennifer from one to 10, she would say nine because she's happy. Even though she was sick, she could spend time with her family and cook something special with her mom. Wow, that was excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. I love reading and listening to you in English, right? <laughs> So, because that's, that's the idea, right? That you practice as much English as possible. So yes, a big heart for all of you guys. Thank you for sharing. We're going to move on to the next step. So I'm just going to confirm. I was taking the attendance. Um, oh, nice. You still remember the to tongue twister from the previous module. So I'm going to confirm the attendance. I was checking and taking it, but Maybe I didn't have the chance to listen to everybody, so I will, I better call out your names. So uh, let me close. I have like a million windows open here. Okay, so the first person in the list is obviously Beatriz. Can you hear me? I'm here. Yes, Elizabeth. I'm here. Mariela. I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Uh, Carla. Carla. Okay, maybe she cannot use the microphones. So we're gonna check the chat. Uh, Diana. Here. Floor. I'm here. Okay, then we have Francisco. Here, teacher. Excellent. Uh, we continue with Harvin. I am here, teacher. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Present. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Great. Uh, well, Merlin is not here, so we continue with I'm here. Hey, Merlin, you're you're here. Excellent. <laughs> I hear the echo, echo, echo. I think there there's somebody next to you, right? Suleyma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see, hardworking students here. People working in in the English class too. Uh, Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Nice to see you, Marlene. Thank you uh, for being here. Uh, Rolando, not here yet. Uh, Ruth. Suleyma. I'm here. Okay. Uh, then we have Janari. Is Janari here? No, right? No yet. So let's continue with Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Blanca. I'm here. Okay, there you go. Freddy's. I'm here. And let's go on. Okay, so uh, right now, what do you see in your screen? The two tongue twisters, right? Yeah. And now? Welcome to week three. Okay, Session perfect. 11. That's right. Good, I just wanted to check. Now we're going to move on and uh, yeah, Ruth, I imagine that you were there, but you couldn't use the microphone. So don't worry. Now let's go on with the first slide for today. So we're going to start speaking, uh, but before that, I will tell you the objective, right? So for this unit, uh, as I told you before, right? The objective is that you are able to make suggestions about the relevance of topics in a procedure manual. So procedure manuals, uh, just in case uh, you are not so familiar with them, well, I'm going to find out, okay? Uh, who can tell us a little bit about what a procedure manual is at work in a company?
Anybody who is familiarized with the uh, procedure manuals? It's a manual that, that guides you how to do your, your work or a specific things in, at work. For example, thank you so um, much. That's a good definition. Okay, an example, uh, Diana, I don't know if you can oh, share Oh, for example, um, hmm? for example, in a restaurant, a recipe, uh, the recipe guides you how to cook a, a, a dish of food. Mm -hmm. A recipe book, that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Juan Jose, you are an engineer, right? Yes. Okay, so are you familiar with procedure manuals? <clears throat> yes, uh, we have many procedures. For example, um, uh, we use uh, um, a lot the ASTM norms. Mm -hmm. Las normas ASTM. Uh -huh. We use uh, also a lot the, that uh, um, that uh, norms because if we are going to um, design a concrete, I don't know if concrete, concreto, no, no concrete. Sé, I don't know uh, if that is concrete. concrete, concrete, yes, concrete. We mm -hmm. need to design concrete, and there are um, um, many steps about to get up the, the perfect concrete. Uh, for example, uh, it's a um, highway. Uh, it's a kind of concrete. Mm -hmm. uh, or if a um, house built, uh, it's another kind of concrete. Or okay. uh, if we are going, we are going to uh, uh, Losa. I don't know. Uh, the foot is like. Um, the second, the second floor. Of second concrete. floor. Yes, uh, it's another kind of concrete, and the norms say mm -hmm. uh, the form correct to design. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much. That was very technical, very specific, right? And yes, I think that in the majority of the companies, they have some procedure manuals. That is basically the things that you have to do in order to develop your job the way that your company wants you to do it, right? Because it's not the same procedure in, let's say in Wendy's than in Burger King. They have their own way of doing things, okay? Even though they are in the same area, in the same field, right? Um, so the same for pizzas, the same for engineers, for architects, for any other area, right? Either call centers, right? In San Salvador, there are many call centers, but every call center has their own procedures, the way to do things. And depending on the area, right? There are some areas that require more extended manuals, right? With more steps and more things to learn. And there are other positions that don't require a lot of uh, procedures, right? A lot of uh, steps, a lot of indications. So that's what you're going to discuss. There are two questions. Um, Blanca, can you please help us to read the two questions that you are going to discuss right now in small groups? Blanca, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can Sorry, you please can, read the two questions from you. exercise number one? Okay, okay. Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Do you think this manual can be improved? Okay, excellent. So those are the two questions that you're going to discuss. If, if there is no manual or procedure manual in your company, in the place where you work, I suppose there are some rules and there are some indications that they give you to do your job. So. Do you think that in that case, right, that you don't have a, a specific manual on paper or something, uh, that it, it would be necessary to create one and give reasons why, okay? 
if the, in your case, you don't have a manual at work. So that's what I want you to do right now. You will be in small rooms with two more people, right? So it will be breakout rooms with uh, three participants each. So we're going to have exactly seven breakout rooms. Let me check. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so uh, perfect. One, two, three, perfect. One, two, three, that's good. I'm going to move one person from here and over here, one, two, three, good. One, two, and three, almost complete. And two people here, two and two. Okay, perfect, so here we go. Right now you have exactly five minutes, okay? Five minutes to discuss this. Uh, so. Why five minutes? Because everybody has to express something, right? And there are two questions that you have to answer. Number one, if there are any procedure manuals in your workplace, and the, if you think that it can be improved, how, right? How can it be improved? So, um, especially now that we are with this pandemic things, right? So maybe it should be updated, right? So that some things are done differently. So here we go, three, two, one. Please accept the invitation to join the breakout room. And I'll see you in five minutes. Now loading, Glenda, Jackie. Let me check. Um, we have Merlin, Ruth, and Laura. Um, we use the um, ISO uh, 2000, um, uh, 2015 uh, mm -hmm. in this moment. And for example, we, are, we have many, uh, two procedures, for example, two procedures for to hire uh, new employees. A new staff. Okay. Uh, one of the, of the procedure is one need to um, teachers, and all and all the store is so different. The packing instruction, and we have to okay. follow step by step to 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 do to follow that strict that procedure. Sorry, it's a little bit complicated. I think. The bets, the bets can be improved. That manual is make a little bit the standard because it's so complicated. Do it some test for some store and don't do it for another one. And we have a lot of change. For example, we have to ship to United States, and mm -hmm. she say no, you will ship to China, for example. And we have to to change the procedure because we wanted to ship for, for China and in- The Clorox. Mm -hmm. Well, the procedure I have to follow in my workplace is that before I make Clorox, I have to make sure that I use exactly two pounds of Clorox. Why? Because that's the exact amount to use for, for the water. Or it could kill all the bacteria. Okay. So, I have, but before before preparing it, I have to wear a mask, a coat, some gloves, boots, <laughs> and some safety glasses. Like a spaceman, like a, yeah. like an astronaut. <laughs> Actually, like like the Kobe man. <laughs> uh huh. That's so right. I have, to, I have to wear all that. The gloves. Is we have um, 
a program that is the most important program that that we need to look or book the airline ticket and things like that. So in that in that specific program, we have a specific many 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 specific procedure to make a ticket to change a flight to change or shoot a, a car to rent a car and things like that and and every procedure is different so we had a guy a guy in in when when Seth yes I I think the screenshot the the first question is Hey, hello, teacher. Hello, you were, you were talking about me? Here I am. <laughs> yes, because uh -huh. it's, it's not bad about you, it's good. No. I know, I know, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Is the, there a manner with procedures in your workplace, Francisco? Yeah. Yes, in my, in my job, we have a different manual. Um, uh, however, in my in my job, uh, I do not know. I do not know how do you say "seleyaman." It's they called. Are cold. They, they are, are cold. They are cold. Bill. Yeah. We are called a uh, BOM. BOM. Sí, BOM. What is that? Uh, it's too similar a uh, a uh, uh, manual. However, um, in in this fight, uh, we have all a step with we need to do for wherever uh, whatever proceeding or procedimiento procedure 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 yeah. What I would like to do. For example, if we if we to move a product um, the area to serving to the warehouse, we we can to review the or, or check the VOM and we have the all step we need to do. Uh, the only difference is the the name. I do not use special shoes and that kind of things. Yes, yes, we we use different. Uh, 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 different. It's, it's like it's, it's similar like me for me when I go to the sites I, I, I have to wear a helmet um, special shoes with the the I don't know how to say it, cubo de hierro in the in the in the front of the shoes and I have to to use maybe gloves it depends of the area in, in the that I visit. Mm -hmm. Oui, it's gone. <laughs> oh, Miguel? Yes. We Early lost. connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were talking about the personal protection equipment that mm -hmm. we have to use uh, when we visit uh, some different areas in, the, in, in him job and in my job too. Okay, uh, well, you're in human resources, right? Yes, I'm in human resources, but I have to go to visit to the sites in Acajutla port or in the borders. Ah. So when I go to these sites, I have to use personal, uh, personal equipment protection. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, so you mentioned that Zapata de Cuba, right? That yeah. I'm curious about that. Do you know what it is? It's, it's una bota with uh -huh. uh, 
Con with the metal, metal, with the metal. Uh, metal in the front of the shoes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if, if, if something uh, go on your, on your feet, you can, you are protected. It, uh -huh, it exactly. doesn't hurt you. Mm -hmm. So the shoes are horrible, but they are safety. <laughs> True. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. But and are totally uncomfortable. I imagine that. Yeah. So those are like construction shoes, right? Yes. Something that kind like of that. shoes used to used to used to be for for construction too. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. I think that uh, for Ruth, it's a little bit complicated to use a microphone. Yes. So it was only you and Miguel <laughs> speaking, but he left you alone. Luckily, I came on time. <laughs> okay. It's so okay. Um, is it cold there? I'm cold, but I'm always uh, got cold when I when I don't sleep enough ah, last, last night. The previous night, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's a new symptom for me <laughs> because I usually, yeah, I have that problem, but I don't get cold. I just get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> each, each body is different, no? Yeah, everybody's different, that's right. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that almost everybody's done with the sharing. I'm just going to check one more group and then I will call back, well, call everybody back, okay? Okay. I'll be back in a second. No, for example, uh, all the, in my case, all the agents have to follow a specific call flow. Like, uh, first of all, they have to do a greeting after take all the information of the customer, try to make beer report, uh, like to speak with the customer and continue with the call. For employees, so we have worked with um, other manuals. In, <coughs> in the way we have been <coughs> doing more manuals for every process because it's so important to have um, to have every um, okay because the information that we have to the information that we have work is so important it could, is necessary to be ready for third parties so everything uh, we have we have the opportunity to to have a, a, a job a Hi, job teacher. exactly <laughs> so, what happened? Did you finish? Yeah, we finished. Okay, one. perfect. So it's, I think it's just one group that is finishing with the last participation, and then we're going back to the, to the main session, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, un pre -intermedio. Sí, hay pre -intermedios del básico, el pre -intermedio y este intermedio. Yes, or, or have, to have some programs. Uh, the personal uh, ET only say sorry uh, is problem to the system no not to the computer and what do you the do I in those cases IT system what what do you do in those cases that is uh, the question that that is asked uh, I uh, sometimes we have a uh, serious problems because uh, the system we have the company when I work uh, the system is very very old All right long time no see Elizabeth <laughs> oh. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> I had a very, very busy week uh, for me in my work. And right now, today is the only day that I have a, a 
No, uh, I work early. So ah. I finish early my shift. Yes. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. And I try to get advantage to that time. Yeah, taking advantage of, of every second you have. That's right. Yeah. Okay, well, it's nice to have you and that uh, you can participate as much as possible, right? Now, sure. speaking of participation, uh, Elizabeth, could you please tell us about what your group discussed? Just mention a couple of uh, opinions that you were that you listened to in, in the in the group that you were. Mm, like, well, I think that, um, we are agreeing the point that obviously it's important to have a manual in a in a specific company because the people uh, know how to follow a, a specific procedures in the company. I don't know, like uh, Harvey mentioned uh, packages um, or maybe the rules that the company has. Uh, mm -hmm. In my case, my company don't have a specific manual. Uh, I explained that uh, I work in a call center. So mm -hmm. they just have to, uh, to follow a specific, uh, a specific structure in the calls, uh, like a call flow. Obviously, mm -hmm. with some behaviors that they have to uh, follow um, in every single call. And uh, I think that it's important because uh, my department is sales and mm -hmm. each behavior helps them to reach to close the cell. And it's important to be aggressive, but in positive way, right? <laughs> and okay, yeah, aggressive, but in a nice way. Yeah. In a nice way, yes. You have to teach me how to, how to do that. Maybe one day I have to be aggressive in a positive <laughs> way with someone. <laughs> and you can be persuasive too. I think that is the, the most yeah. qualities that you have to be persuasive. I can do implement. that. I can do that. <laughs> it's easy. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got it. Something Thank that you, you so can, much. You can learn. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, excellent participation. Uh, so as Elizabeth said in her group, they agreed that it's important to have a manual. Uh, Elizabeth was working with, let me check. Um, which group were you? Ah, with uh, Mariela, Blanca and Harvey, right? Now from the group number two, we had Brenda, Carla, Fredis and Jennifer. Who would like to say something about your discussion? What conclusions do you do you get to? Freddy wants. <laughs> I'm sorry, Freddy, <laughs> but, but you were the only boy in that in that group, so it's a tendency. <laughs> That's bullying. <laughs> well, you know, with feminism, sometimes uh, yeah. <laughs> men lose <laughs> every fight. That's the power. Yeah, girl's be, power, be, that's be, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we better, we better learn how to survive with that. <laughs> so actually, Brenda says she don't have no procedures. There's no money on her workplace. And she thinks there never will be a manual because she does, she does something new every time. OK. Two girls says there's a lot of money in the workplace. And I think their manual can't be improved in my workplace. I only say one manual. <laughs> How to make Clorox for the water to uh -huh. kill the bacteria because we, we, we actually we supply water to the community. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like Anda. Yeah. So I have to make sure that the water is 100% clean without bacteria. Without bacteria. Yeah. Uh, I have a question about that. So if it has a lot of chlorine, obviously you kill the bacteria, but is, yeah. it, uh, is it really drinkable? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, because there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a machine to measure it. So it's like around 0 0.7 ml to 1.1. Mm. So it has to be between. So to be able to drink the water, mm -hmm. 
And actually, with, with the two pounds of clocks that I made, it stays between both, both measures. Okay, got it. So uh, about that, uh, the plural is bacteria and the singular is bacterium. Yeah. That's, that's for, in case you didn't know, that's an, a regular or, well, an irregular plural, right? So, uh, okay, sure, no problem, uh, Fleur, be careful while driving, please. <laughs> okay, we continue with the next one from the group number three. Thank you so much, class for Freddy's and the group number two. So the group number three, we had Diana, Laura, Jackie, and Juan Jose. Who would like to share from this group? Jackie. Jackie wants. Okay, um, Juan Jose said that they have a lot of procedures to follow, uh -huh. uh, almost 10. Um, Diana said that uh, she followed a procedure before uh, in pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, well, before pandemic uh, and in pandemic was so hard because they work almost at midnight. And wow. but today she followed the procedure after pandemic. Mm -hmm. And we consider that follow procedures is so important to work um, better, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, so to get a better job or a better results following procedures or having a procedural manual, it's really important. I totally agree with you, especially when you have technical work, right? Uh, that you are working with machines, you're working with uh, some things that are very, can be dangerous, for example, like in the case of Clarice, right? Fred is working with clerks and with other chemicals. So imagine if he didn't have a procedure and he could like, how much clerks can I put to this water? I don't know, I think maybe one pound would be okay or three pounds and then people dying because of the water. So, yeah, it's something really, really important, right? Next one, group number four. Thank you, Yaki. Reactions and continue with the group number four. No, number, yeah, number four. We had four, Maritza and Suleyma. Who can share with us? Right now, Flor cannot make it because she's driving. So it can be Maritza or Suleyma. Hi, teacher. Hello. Yes, Good I was. To see you too. And... <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Um, according to the questions that we were working, uh, Lord tell us about uh, how uh, the manual, the procedures manual, work in their in her job, and he told us about uh, some rules, and that is really difficult for new uh, employees to follow the route because as she said that she has a lot of time working there, uh, for for her it's easy, right? Because she has a lot of experience working and follow, in following the rules. And for new people, it's really difficult. I was telling her that hitting or job, like Anita said, <laughs> we don't have a, a manual procedures. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that here all is like um, in order. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, all the things are really organized. Uh -huh. So we don't, we don't really have a, um, a, a manual procedures. Yeah, and well, and Marisa was with us and <laughs> okay, well, that's more than enough. Thank you so much. Class for her, please. Uh, I'm going to use it. Ta -da. So, well, yeah, even though there is not a manual in some places, uh, I think that unconsciously you develop your own manual, right? About things, how you're going to do things. 
And sometimes you are just asking people, hey, how do you do this? How can I do this? Uh, room number five, we had Anna, well, Beatriz, uh, Francisco, and Merlin. Francisco wants to participate, teacher. Okay, Francisco, you are the volunteer. <laughs> just look at Beatriz's face, right? Like, Francisco wants to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was on purpose. Uh, go ahead. Okay, I tried. I tried. Okay. Uh, I know Beatriz and I uh, talk about uh, the some problems we have uh, in our work. For example, I I say that we have uh, several pro problems with. Uh, sometimes uh, the IT mm -hmm. IT system uh, changes then do not run in this computer because the computer is is demasiado it's too is is too too what uh, too big too noisy too noisy. Too complicated. What do you want to say? No. Es demasiado nueva. Too new. It's too new. Um, the program with with we work is very very old. Old. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. And um, when I have an issue, we we need to uh, ask to the. To the my boss and say mm -hmm. and say uh, her sorry my boss I have a big issue I need to a uh, reason call okay for, perfect for the and men the problems okay to correct to the problem, the right? admin, yes the admin problem uh -huh. got it Okay, yes. excellent. Thank you so much, Francisco. Clap okay. for you. And the last but not least is Karen. Uh, I think that Miguel had some connection problems, so we lost. Um, well, he could say something, but in the end, he got kicked out of the room. But now I think he's here. He's back. So I don't know if Karen or Miguel would like to share with us, please. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I have a, a little problem with my internet, but- I imagine yeah. that. Yes, yes. But uh, we talking about uh, with um, Karen, uh, I, I say, I tell you that in my, in my work, uh, there are different areas or department. And uh -huh. In each department, there are or there is a uh, manual procedures mm -hmm. uh, because it's a company that produces uh, different construction materials. Um, okay. um, they must be followed uh, uh, careful uh, carefully when handling the machine machinery. Mm -hmm. uh, with um today with the issue of the pandemic we have a uh, follow a uh, sanitation pr procedures every day and every. all day uh, each uh, each uh, hours uh, take um temperature um you you have observation uh, mm -hmm. maybe it's it can be improved. True. So the person have uh, uh, the person have a better tools to work better. Perfect. So that will be all. I think I we got all the 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 representations from every group. So excellent. Thank you so much. Class for him, please. And we continue now with the. Attendance part, the second one. So round two, we have uh, Freddy still present here. Yes, no? Here. Blanca? 
sorry, the microphone. I always put from, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Blanca is a little quiet today. Don't you think so, guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm too quiet. I feel that too. <laughs> yeah, like something's sorry. different. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jackie. Present. Okay. Well, Janat is not with us right now. Uh, Suleyma. I'm here. Ruth is probably going to write down in the chat because she her microphone is not working or she cannot use it right now. Uh, Miguel Angel. I'm here. Okay, perfect. Merlin. Maritza. I'm here. <laughs> I think that Suleyma can, 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 can tell us if, if uh, Merlin is there. <laughs> okay, let's continue with uh, yes, I'm working. Karen. Present. Good. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. You need a cup of hot chocolate, uh, Karen, or coffee. <laughs> Well, yes. chocolate will do better because coffee won't help you to <laughs> fall asleep later. Okay, uh, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Laura. Francisco. Present. Well, uh, Flori told me that she was driving right now, so we're going to wait for her. Diana. Present. Carla. Present here, teacher, I'm okay. here. Okay, excellent, Carla. Brenda? Mariela? I'm here. Present. Thank you, ladies. Elizabeth? I'm here. And Beatriz? I'm here. Great. And I'm here. Who was that? <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> oh, good. You're you're back. Okay, your voice is back. <laughs> I'm here too, teacher. Okay, okay. Just be careful, uh, Flor. Okay, let's check. So right now we're basically just missing Rolando and Janari, right? So the rest of you are here. That's amazing. So um, we're going to move on, and as you can see on your screen, I have the conversation that we're going to practice. But this time we're going to do it a little bit differently, okay? So normally we have the conversation in person, right? We practice here in the class and sometimes you do it alone. But this time we're going to do it in groups of three. Because as you can see, we have Sarah, Walter, and well, four people actually, uh, Sonia and Renee, okay? Um, so we're going to practice the four rows. So you're going to be in groups of four. In the first practice, you are Sarah. In the second practice, you are Walter. In the third practice, you are Sonny. In the fourth practice, you are Renee. So the idea is that you are going to practice the four different uh, dialogues, okay, from every person. So you are just going to change the role, okay, in your group, like a roulette, right, in a roulette. So um, I'm going to say the conversation, okay, for you to listen. Uh, if you have questions about pronunciation or, or vocabulary, please let me know. Uh, it is important. It is important that you ask questions when you have doubts. Believe me, because uh, I don't want that in the future you, you say, for example, you are practicing English, right? You say, uh, I don't know, uh, customers, right? And, and somebody will ask you, what is customer? A cliente, no, that's customer. And who told you that it was the pronunciation was customer? Ah, teacher <laughs> Freddy. No, okay. I, 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 I don't want you to, to say that I, I, I told you the pronunciation in the incorrect way. Okay, so when you have doubts, ask me, okay? I, I am here to help you. Uh, and it's better to clarify that in the class so that later when you go to the real world and you use the language, you are sure, right? Okay, teacher told me that it's customers. I'm going to say custom. Um, if not, you can send me a message, right? Teacher, I'm really sorry, but you made me had a bad experience, right? Because you told me the pronunciation was 
customer and, and and I had a meeting with some people from the United States and it was a bad experience teacher. So shame on you, right? Uh, no, no. So please just listen, try to pronounce, right? You can repeat after me, that's okay. Uh, okay, here we go. We need to, okay. I, I'm, I don't know if it was a voice in my head, but I think I heard someone speaking. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> it's you can't really see creepy. anything. It was, yeah, that was strange. It was like the other sound that we heard the last time. It's a um, ghost, teacher. There's a ghost in this English it's class. A ghost. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. That was it. Uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? What do you propose? Okay, propose. First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. That is another example. Uh, when you say, for example, present, I'm here. Or when you say present, a gift for Christmas, I have a present for your birthday. The stress is in the first syllable, present. But when you use it as a verb, you say present. So the pronunciation changes and the stress is in the second syllable. So you have to pay attention to those little details, right, about the language. Uh, so first, comma, there is a little pause, right? First, servers need to know the correct way to prevent the menu. You can say the, and you can say the menu, that's okay. Well, whatever you prefer, right? Um, Sonia, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers? And after that, how they need to present the menu? Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should should greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu it's the intonation right a question the menu so you go up uh wouldn't it be better right wouldn't it be better wouldn't it wouldn't it so you make a connection right a link sound wouldn't it wouldn't it be better if better if mm -hmm. that's another one chapter one chapter one third one third one third one chapter one is about is about so you make another connection. So there are a lot of link sounds that you can make, uh, but you need to pay attention, right? You need to identify that. And then try to say it as connected as possible. So wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Rene, actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Actually, if you see, we use a comma after every transition word or every linking word. So we use a comma. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Dress code and appearance. Dress code and appearance in the first chapter. First, right? Not fierce, it's first. Um, and actually, it's a false friend. Okay, remember that I told you about the false friends, los sobre los falsos amigos, but not in real life. Okay, I'm talking about the, the language, okay, false friends uh, or false cognates. So these are words that look similar to the word in your language, but the meaning is different. So they look similar in spelling, uh, but the meaning is different. So for example, actually, how do you translate actually? En realidad. Realmente. En realidad, realmente, de hecho. Uh -huh. So, actually, is not actualmente. How can you say actualmente in English? Currently. 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 Okay. Currently is one way. Another possible way that you can say actualmente. Nowadays. No, nowadays, they, um, very good, nowadays, or you can say these days, right? So, uh, or in the present, right? So we can say currently, nowadays, 
these days, now. these days, or in the present. Right now is more about the moment. Right now, do it right now. Uh, now you can say now. Uh huh. That's that that can be possible now. Okay, so that's how you say. Actualmente en la actualidad, right? So very good. I wrote it in the chat so you can see the vocabulary. And now we're going to move on to the practice. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation, about the intonation, about the stress, about the meaning, about, I don't know, anything about the conversation before you go to the breakout rooms and you practice with your partners? Uh, Ask me, Freddie and then Blanca. Server's dress code is their uniform, right? When they say dress code and appearance, yes. Dress code is the, the, the code or the rules that have to do with the way that you are supposed to dress in your work. Yeah. For example, here, I my part of my dress code, I know that I have to wear formal shirts. I cannot come with a shirt, with a t-shirt or with a polo shirt that wouldn't be uh, appropriate. So in my case, I know that my, part of my dress code is to have a formal shirt. I can wear a tie, okay? That's a possibility. Mm. But in my reality, it's not a good idea, okay? Uh, so you know why, right? I live in Samuel, so it's a little bit complicated. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, that is a dress code, right? The rules about the way that you have to dress. If in your job, they tell you, okay, you have to wear boots. Even if you are very fashionable and you like high heels, I'm sorry, you have to wear boots. Uh, if they tell you you have to wear uh, formal pants and you are like, but I prefer jeans. Formal pants is the dress code, okay? And so on. So that is the way, if it is about the hair, right? It's not only about clothes, it's about, it's about the appearance too, right? For men, short, short hair. Uh, but I like the long hair and I take care of it and I can put a little ponytail no, it's short hairstyle for men. Uh, but I like my beard. No beard, no face, facial hair. It happens in some places, right? Uh, or if you have a beard, no, like Santa Claus, right? It has you have to take care of it, uh, so it looks clean and uh, formal, right? So that's part of the dress code and appearance. Okay, in some places they have it, in some others they don't. Right. Um, so another question, Blanca. Sorry. Uh, I'm only had a doubt with the name Rene mm -hmm. because it has uh, tilde, a yeah. stress mark. Stress well, mark. actually, this is a I mean, it's a name in, in Spanish. I mean, Sonia, oh, okay. Walter, Sarah. So if okay, you have okay. a if you have a stress mark in your name even if you are in another country you you can use it okay so because um, you don't change the names uh -huh. okay. yeah and with the pronunciation with appearance it's that the right correct one? yes the pronunciation of the word is appearance appearance, appearance. okay yeah, thank appearance. you yeah okay you're welcome um so here we go breakout rooms, it will be in groups of four. So everybody's going to have a different role. If there are three people, maybe one person can have two roles in the conversation, okay? Um, but it is that you practice everything. So please do it the best way possible. Imagine that you are in that scenario, right? Use the stress, use the intonation, use the volume. The appropriate volume is not like... Okay. Uh, let me check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. So we have three groups that are complete. And uh, one, two, three. We need one more person here. I'm going to move Francisco to this one. Room number four. Uh, Karen, you will be in the room number five with root two. Okay, so. It's perfect. Ready, set. How much time do we have for this? Good question, Emilio. By the way, Emilio is my, my imaginary friend, my assistant in class, right? So um, you will have 
around around I would say five or six minutes, but I will check right that everybody's uh, doing it on time, or I can give you more, or I can give you less time. So the maximum time is six minutes. Okay, so try to focus. Don't discuss too much. Like you start, no, I start, no, you start. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no matter who starts, right? The most important thing is that everybody practices. Okay, you're going to say the four dialogues anyway. So here we go. Accept the invitation. I'll see you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Let me check. The teacher is connecting right now. Okay, so I think that Floor has some connection problems, so I will help you with the conversation, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, if you want, I can be Sara. Uh, Marisa? Walter. Okay, Sonia. <laughs> I will be Brené. I am <laughs> Okay. Okay. One, we two, need, three, go. Okay. We need to create the main stuff to include the, in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. Will it be there in Charper? One is about who server told Greet the customer and after that you, after that, who they need to the present the menu. How they need to present the menu, okay? Actually, uh, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, now we switch. I will go to the top. Right? I will okay. be Sarah. So next one is uh, Suleyma. You will be Walter. Uh, Maritza oh. will be Sonia oh, and Francisco so. Rene. Uh -huh. All okay. right. So, uh, well, hi everybody. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Mm -hmm. Wording. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how server should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it's good. It's good better if we include the server's dress, call an appearance in appearance. the appearance is in the first chapter in the first chapter. Okay, excellent. So okay. we continue with the roulette. So now I am Walter, Suleyma, Sonia, Maritza, Rene, and Francisco, Sarah. Okay. Uh, Francisco, okay. you're Sarah, okay. huh? Yes. Go ahead. We need to, okay. We need to create the main step to include the manual to try all stuff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if Charter one is about how service should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Very good, Marisa. Now we go to the final round. So I am going to be Sonia. Uh, Suleyma will be Rene, right? Uh, Sarah will be Marisa and Francisco Walter. 
Okay. okay. We need to create. Sorry. We need to cre create the main step to include the manual to train of no to train our, our staff. Uh, what do you propose? Uh -huh. Girls, servers need to know the correct. What do you present the menu? The correct way to present the menu. To, to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, excellent. Great job, team. Nice. I liked it, very good. So that is what I call coordination, right? Okay, so about pronunciation uh, in the speech that Sarah says, uh, probably you need to pay attention just to the word uh, manual, right? Manual, it sounds like mm -hmm. an ñ, like an ñ in the middle, right? Like Manual. Manual. Uh -huh. manual, there's a manual and manual. Uh, propose with the sound Z at the end, propose. propose. Z al final. Propose. propose. What do you propose? propose. In the second a speech, uh, in the second dialogue, uh, train, uh -huh. train. In the second dialogue, uh, first, 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 and first. also correct. Okay, correct and mm. present. Present, uh -huh. present the menu, the correct way to present the menu. And uh, Sonia's speech, Sonia's speech, uh, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it? That would be one wouldn't link it. sound. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Um, should, should is pronounced with no L. La L no se pronuncia en should. Should. Uh -huh. You should greet the customer, right? Should greet, debería. Should. Uh, should with the D at the end, la del sonido la de al final, then customers and yeah, just that. Greet, right? Greet. And the last one, Renee, actually, 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 actually. if we better if we include a appearance and I think chapter. Chapter. Uh -huh, chapter. Chapter. So that would that would be all. Uh-huh. Dress code uh, and appearance in first shot. Uh, is appearance or appearance? Appearance. It's appearance. appearance. Yeah, the appearance. Appearance. Okay. Um, so if you don't have any other questions, I think that, that the majority of the group probably finished already. So we're going to go back to the break to the session so I can explain you the next activity. Okay. Okay. So okay. A second. I'm going to close everything. Nice work. Let me check. Uh, here we go. Okay. So right now we're going to check that everybody practiced, okay? So I'm going to select random, random people, okay? Uh, the first one will be Blanca, she's been quiet. So Blanca, you will be Sarah. We're going to create a, a, a Frankenstein conversation right now. So different people from different groups with different roles. Okay, let me share the screen one more time. So Blanca, you are uh, Sarah. Then we will have, let me check. Is Miguel here? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, Miguel, you will be Walter. Uh, Jennifer, you will be Sonia. And Carla, you will be Renee. Okay. Okay, ready, set, go. We need to create the main steps uh, to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Present the menu, huh? Wouldn't it be 
better if the third one is about how server should greet the customer and after that how they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the serve dress and code, um, dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Awesome, very good. Class for them, please. So now we go with the second practice, the second group. So Anna, you will be Sarah. Uh, Maritza, you will be Walter. Uh, Harvin, you're going to be Sonia. And Jackie, you will be Renee. Ready? Anna Beatriz, teacher. Uh, Anna Elizabeth. Anna Elizabeth. Okay. 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 One, yeah. two, three, go. We need to create the main steps to include in a manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. Yes. Couldn't it be better if the sharper one is about how the server should greet the customer and after they how they need to present the menu. Okay, present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. There you go, excellent. Okay, class for the group. Now we go with the next one. So uh, Karen, you will be Sarah. Juan Jose, you will be Walter. Uh, Diana, Sonia and Mariela Rene. Ready, set, yeah. go. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. To present the menu. Would it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. In the first chapter, excellent. Exito, as what you would say, right? Now we continue with... Exito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we go with the one more practice, okay? One more practice. So Beatriz, you will be Sarah, uh, Suleyma, Walter, uh, Ruth, Sonia, and Freddy's, you will be Renee. We need to create the main steps to include in the manner to train our staff. What do you propose? Okay, we lost connection with the sec with Walter. Francisco, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, first, servers need to know the correct uh, way to present the menu. Okay. Present. Uh, Sonia? Wouldn't, uh -huh. wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how uh, they need to present the menu? Uh -huh. Actually, it would be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, there you go. I think that we, we missed a couple of participants. Who's missing? Who didn't have the chance to practice right now? Me. Okay, Brenda, <laughs> who else? Brenda and okay. So Brenda, uh, because of time, let's, Tomorrow. No, I mean, let's do it together. Okay, let's do it together quickly. Okay, so wait a second. Okay, Laura Pierce. So we have uh, Laura, we have Brenda. I will help you out. And we need one more. Who's missing? Who's missing? Flor, are you there? I don't know if. No, I think Flor is not available right now. So uh, yeah, maybe we can try it out like that. So, uh, Maritza, please help us out. 
So you can do the number one with Sarah, then Brenda, mm -hmm. uh, you will be Sonia, uh, Laura, you will be Renee, I will be Walter. Ready, we set, need, go. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Uh, Brenda? Brenda? I think we lost connection with Brenda. Oh no, I'm here. Okay. Maya. <laughs> Shouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Oh, very good. Fast and furious. And Laura? Actually, it would be better if we if we include the service dress, call and appearance in the first chapter. I just love that. So everybody did it. Congratulations, guys. That's a tada and a heart. Two for one, two for one. Okay, two reactions for one. Wait a second, what happened? With this? So we go on and now we go with the interesting part. So you will have to create your own conversation. So how does it work? Okay, simple. You imagine that you are in a meeting, okay? That's the first thing. You have to imagine that you are in a meeting and uh, follow follow the example with the staff meeting, right? Uh, we're talking about uh, procedural manuals. I'm going to give you probably one topic and it's about the new procedures in your company. Now that with the COVID, uh, health uh, measures. So what's, what things should we include in the manual now that the COVID is here in the company? So that is going to be the discussion, okay? So with your group, you decide what you're going to say, uh, what you're going to propose, but something mandatory is that you include, wouldn't it be better or it would be better? So when you're using this structure, okay, wouldn't it be better? is when you propose an option that you consider is obviously better than the other one. For example, if I say, oh, okay guys, so right now we are going to create groups, but you select the group. Um, and you are like, uh, it's complicated. It takes more time. It's difficult because we are online. So you, you can tell me, teacher, wouldn't it be better if you create the breakout rooms randomly instead of us choosing the members. And after that, we can work with the people that we get in the room. Wouldn't it be better? No sería mejor, right? Wouldn't it be better? So you need to include the question and you need to include the sentence, right? It would be better, sería mejor. And then that's the only requirement, okay? Simple as that, one dialogue per person, okay? But with the COVID, uh, procedures, right? That we should follow in the in the company. Okay, so think about that. Okay, especially now that you say that in, in your company you don't have a procedure for some things. So now you have the possibility of having an imaginary staff meeting to propose, right? What to do, what procedures to follow in order to uh, be careful with the situation that we have in the present, right? So you will have exactly a let's say six to seven minutes, and then we're going to come back and one group or two will share with us and the rest will share tomorrow, okay? So uh, basically that's all. This will be the, the, the last activity related to the topic, okay? So ready? Any questions before we go to the breakout rooms one more time? You will be in the same breakout rooms, by the way. Do you have any doubts? We have to do uh, a manual procedures about uh, COVID, right? Yeah, in your company. I imagine, choose okay, okay. The, the company. Imagine that you work, I don't know, for one of the companies that you work for, right? Because we have people from different uh, enterprises here. So maybe you, you say like, oh, let's propose something. Imagine that you work in, in the same company as me, right? 
I don't know, uh, Francisco Avide University, right? Or you say I work for the call center, uh, black and white, so whatever. So that's what you're going to do right now. Um, and let me just check. I think one group has five members. Floor, are you back? I just wanted to confirm that. I think she's not, so I'm going to move Miguel to the room number. Let me check, Miguel, how to say. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to move Juan Jose to the room number four. Ready, set, and go. Seven minutes maximum, okay? To create your conversation, practice, and then you come back. Okay, go to the breakout rooms. See the play. Linda, Merlin, and Flora. In my coach. <laughs> Hi, teacher. In your bed. Hello. In no, no, I'm not in the bed. I, I'm in the coach. <laughs> you can see it. But Ah, it's a coach, it's, it's not a bed. <laughs> yeah, but it's comfortable. Yes. Okay, so okay. Uh, we have to make the procedure manual. Uh, who wants to begin the steps? We have to follow. So the first and person to speak is the is the probably the manager, right? The one that is uh -huh. organizing. The manager. The, the, uh -huh. And then the rest <laughs> okay, the are in different areas, and you propose your oh, idea. Okay. Jackie okay. is the manager. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> Don't forget to include <laughs> elements like good morning or good evening, everybody. So make a uh, uh, the meeting or the conversation the very realistic, right? Like, okay. then you say, okay, so that's the conclusion. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next meeting. So, because in the, in the example, they didn't say hello. They didn't say goodbye, right? So it, it was... <laughs> I don't know, really incomplete, weird. very, very <laughs> weird, yeah. Spontaneous. <laughs> yeah, it was not very polite. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, welcome to our meeting. And we're going to start in this opportunity. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. I, I think that we, we choose an enterprise and in that enterprise, we planned the procedures in case to have um, COVID, for oh, example. Well, yeah. Or how to prevent when I, it, right? When I work, mm -hmm. yes, when I work, for example, uh, there are many entrites, many, many entrites in, 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 in car, there are many entrites uh, to talk, and it's not uh, many uh, places two in price, only, for example, one, only one. Because if we were many entries, we need many people to, um, uh, many people to make the security, the, to uh, maintain, to make, to, to, to keep. Yeah, to keep to keep or uh, to maintain i just wanted to mention something guys uh, in the conversation try to do it as, as spontaneous and natural as possible right saying hello good evening everybody uh then you say goodbye right the final words of the meeting so like imagine that you're in a meeting right now so for example juan jose is, is the the one that starts the meeting right like the manager and you are the the representatives of different areas right mm -hmm. Uh, so Juan Jose is like, okay, good evening, everybody. Today we have this meeting to talk about what we are going to do in the company to prevent COVID, right? Uh, so I would like to hear your ideas about what measures or what procedures we need to implement so that we take care of each other and we take care of the people that come to our company, the visitors, okay? And then Francisco can propose something and then Maritza is like, mm, 
wouldn't it be better? And then she 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 proposes a, another idea, right? And then Sulema uh, is like, I think it would be better to do this, right? Uh, and then Juan Jose can say, okay, so I think that Sulema and Maritza's ideas are really good. Do you agree with that, Francisco? And Francisco, yeah, I agree with that. So that will be all. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next meeting. Okay, have a good night. So like that. So I start writing down, probably taking notes about what you're going to say, what everybody's going to say, and the order, in the order, right, that you're going to say it. Uh, Flor, are you there? Yeah, teacher. I, I, I'm the car, but now I'm listening well. Okay. Uh, a few moments before I had bad connection. But okay. I, I think that I understand the activity. So okay. We're we going to do a presentation or something a conversation. like that from the order. Oh, okay. Yeah, conversation. You're going to create a conversation similar to the one that we were uh, practicing before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, okay. But we all have to participate. Yes. But in your cases, if you cannot speak, don't worry. They are four. So you can just listen, and that's okay. Okay, but I think yeah. that, that Marika could not participate and Suleima, I don't know if, if, if she's no. working yet. I no? think that, no, Suleima is, is uh, working, but she's speaking, so I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. And Maritza is also participating, so that's not a problem. Just in okay. case, right? Just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it in Santa Hi, Santa ladies. Hi. Sorry, I think I, I think that there was another person in your group, but he or she, well, it was it's rude, she. But no, I think it was it was uh, Merlin, but she she lost connection Ruth? probably. Yeah, maybe. So I I'm going to practice with you. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you have the idea for the conversation for the meeting? Yes. yes. We already have our manual. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I can participate or you do it by yourself. I'm meeting with two people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me what you have. Well, we had a procedure. Where we create the main step to include a new procedure in our manual about COVID. And this procedure uh, had about five or six steps, like this. First one, take the temperature, use a sanitizer hands, use hand a mask. Sanitizer, huh? uh, excuse me? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Uh -huh. Use a mask all the time. Mm -hmm. If you have symptoms or somebody at home has symptoms, uh, you have to stay at home. If you are positive, uh, stay at home uh, for two weeks. Okay. If you want to come back to the world, you have to present a negative test for for come to for come back to to the for to the back, office. For come back to the office. Okay. If you are. But... Well, what is yeah. the discussion? Remember that you have to do the, the conversation, like a conversation. So what do you say, Karen, in that conversation? We we, we were uh, agreed to, uh, to all these steps. And uh -huh. before you came, uh, uh -huh. we were talking about the vaccine uh -huh. and uh, both Ana Beatriz and me, we have uh, the first uh, doses and mm -hmm. I will get tomorrow my second doses because I have a uh, Sinovac and she has uh, AstraZeneca. Okay. So, so we, are, we are almost complete with this process. What about you? I have both. Yeah, I have the two doses already. Ah, uh, yeah, because uh -huh. teachers. I'm a teacher, yeah. Uh, yeah. The beginning, uh, yes. I remember that. Yeah. So uh, what I need you to do is to 
prepare a, a little conversation, like a script. So if you have the chance to practice in the session, right? Uh, you can be like, okay, so hi, Beatriz. What do you think about the situation now in the company? What can we do to prevent uh, cases of uh, COVID for the visitors or the employees? And then uh, Beatriz can say, well, I think that the first thing is that we need to do is to buy the equipment. Uh, we need a temperature, well, a thermometer, right? We need a digital thermometer. Uh, we need to buy a hand sanitizer and um, also a carpet so, so that we can, people can clean their shoes. Um, and, and a lot of masks, a lot of masks. And then you can say, but about the mask, wouldn't it be better if uh, we tell everybody that it's mandatory to bring a mask to enter the company? So we save that money. And then Beatriz can say, yeah, I agree, you're right. We can save money by just asking people to wear masks at all time as a rule. Okay. Uh -huh. So you. that, make it a conversation. Okay? okay, the ideas that you have, try to create them like a, like a little conversation, a role play, right? Okay. Okay, perfect. Hi, Carla, we need to create the main step to include a new procedure about COVID. Karen. Um, I think we make a, we can make a list of the of the old steps that uh, we need to we need to follow uh, in order to be safe. Oh, the restaurant food, and I don't know why the the people forget that situation right now. Yeah, it's like that they just want to 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 have the same life that before. Yes, of course. You have the same family. You have the same symbols. What the reason you forget that? Yeah. Yes. Important thing that is uh, you have to follow uh, your special procedure. In my case, I always try to be careful. I always carry with my alcohol. In the work, I try to uh, clean my space of work in every moment that I can um, and try to uh, be hard with the people that don't follow the rules that we have because it's difficult. Then they are younger than, than me and I have to be push them to like follow the mom. that. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 all the time I feel like a mom <laughs> for them. Yes. It but happens. I think that it's important. Yeah. Did you finish the conversation, guys? Yes I, or no or so-so? We have some ideas. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go back to the session in some seconds. Play. Uh -huh. Stephanie, Mademoiselle, Emmy is here. <laughs> Everyone's here. <laughs> So you're done? Almost. <laughs> Almost, okay, perfect. So you have, well, just 60 seconds to go back. Actually, we had to, hello. Actually, we had to follow the same steps, right? Yeah, just as a guide, but obviously you can add your elements like saying hello, saying goodbye, oh. mm -hmm. closing the meeting. So yeah, more realistic. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, that reminded me of a song by the Beatles. Hello, goodbye, goodbye, hello. <laughs> okay, so I remind, I remind me the Adele song. Hello, ah, the other side. Yeah, hello, it's me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Or hello by Lionel Richie, right? 
Uh, so we're going to <laughs> excellent song. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Um, I don't know, sad, but yeah, they're they're good songs. Now we're really going sad. to yeah, really sad. I would like to know if there is one group ready who would like to try to say the conversation. Because of time, we're not going to be able to listen to all of you guys, but we will tomorrow at the beginning of the session, right? So if you didn't finish and you want to keep in touch with your classmates, remember that you have the members of the of the group in the WhatsApp group. So you can be like, hey, Harbin, send me a message. And so you can keep your, 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 your classmates contact, right? Uh, so we're going to, um, I just want to ask something before uh, I move to taking the attendance. Uh, Mariela, I don't know if it's possible for you to stay after the class is over because Rolanda is not here right now. Okay. Okay, perfect. So let me check the, take the attendance and if there's, there's a volunteer, please let me know. If not, we're going to finish and you can go, you can say the presentations more, ah, by the way. I'm going to take screenshots of the breakout room so I remember who was with whom. <laughs> I, need, I need evidence. Uh, okay. Yes, got it. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Beatrice, are you there? I'm here. <clears throat> Elizabeth? I'm here. Mariela. I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Okay. Carla. I'm here. Mm, Diana. I'm here. Flor. I'm here, teacher. Mm, Francisco. I'm here, teacher. Laura. I'm here, teacher. Arvin. Present. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Here. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Merlin. I'm here. Miguel Angel. I'm here. Rolando. It's not here. Uh, Ruth. Suleima. I'm here. Yanari. Jackie. Blanca. Here. I'm here. Okay. And Freddy's. Here. Perfect. So uh, I just repeat the name so you don't forget. In the room number one, we had Elizabeth, Mariela, Blanca, and Harvin. Room number two, Brenda, Carla, Freddy's, and Jennifer. Room three, Diana, Glenda, Jackie, and Miguel. Room four, Flor, Francisco, Juan Jose, Maritz, and Suleima. And in the room five, uh, we have Ruth, but I think she lost connection. Uh, Karen, Beatriz. And so uh, we're done. I'm going to share the screen with you one more time. So we go to the last one. It's so we just had the opportunity to get started with, uh, wouldn't it be better, right? We discuss about the procedures or the manual procedures, the procedure manual, um, how to, well, the importance that it has, we practice the conversation, you invent your own conversation and um, we reviewed a little bit of what we were practicing in the last session, okay? That was on Friday. Now, it's time to say goodbye and rest. But before we leave, there's something else. Okay, so uh, what I want to tell you, okay, is that uh, for the remaining weeks, there is something that I would like to try with you, um, if that's okay. And I am going to be sharing with you one link. I need to create the, the accounts and everything so that you can practice a little bit of, of reading. 
Uh, I know you don't have a lot of time. So uh, with that group that I'm going to create, you will have the chance to practice whenever you have time. And you will be able to see your progress. You will be able to practice in the moment that you want. Um, you will learn a lot of vocabulary and I think you're gonna like it. So I just want to tell you that I'm going to be sharing with you that so that every week you can practice a little bit more of reading. And because in the class, we don't have the chance to do that too much, right? But we practice a little bit of, well, you practice listening to me and to your classmates. Um, you practice speaking and you practice writing, right? But you don't practice a lot of reading. So I was thinking about that. And that's what I wanted to share with you, okay? So uh, any questions or comments? I enjoyed the last activity that you were reading and we were taking notes. Oh, nice, uh, reading. Uh, yeah, the dictation activity. Mm -hmm. Got it, okay, excellent. Uh, well, tomorrow we're going to continue with the trivia, by the way. Uh, so we continue with the next yes, category. Yes, I want to participate. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we continue I'm tomorrow because to today we didn't have that much time. Yeah, the category is, uh, what was it? I think it's geography. Yeah, geography. So uh, if you don't have any doubts, guys, it was a pleasure. Have a, an amazing night and a great week. We're beginning the week. It's Monday. I know that you don't like it too much, but it's over. So tomorrow is a new day, a new opportunity, and we have to uh, enjoy it, right? As they say, right? Carpe diem. <laughs> so take good care of yourself, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. In have same a good place. night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hi, teacher. Hello, Mariela. Sorry that I got you uh, unexpectedly, right, as a volunteer for today. But as I told you, right, Fernando uh, could not make it to the session. So uh, you were the next one on the list. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I would like to know if there is something that, that you would like me to help you with. about the oh, yeah. class, about the language, any specific area. Uh, I really have problem with the speaking. Okay, what is the problem that you um, have? It's like in my mind sounds good, but when I try to speak, I... I'm <laughs> Ah, so you get stuck. Yes. Okay. And so uh, I, mm -hmm. I was thinking uh, for practice, I try to learn songs and try to sing while I driving or something mm -hmm. else. That can um, help you. Yeah, that can I help you sing. Practicing. Singing can help you a lot. Um, also, something that could help you more than, than singing is uh, practicing conversations with yourself, like the conversation that we have in the book or other conversations that you imagine in, in your workplace or in your daily life, let's say, you can try them out. So, for example, um, I don't know if you have the opportunity to practice English at work or you have to speak English at work. In my work, well, sometimes we, we need to talk with um, partners, but, well, I don't know how to say in English, but it will, like, we work with a uh, mark, then we need uh, any support. Sometimes we need to talk with um, the fabric, and then all of them talking in English. Mm. But sometimes they are Indian or 
Oh. Or any countries and uh, sometimes the, in, the Indian is difficult to understand sometimes because they talk different, the el acento. Mm -hmm. The accent. Uh, yeah. They pronounce the words different sometimes. In this case, uh, I think that uh, it is difficult to understand the people from other countries, especially from this, the ones that you mentioned, and it happens to everybody. I mean, for me, it's difficult to understand people from those countries. Uh, I think that you need to, to really start uh, listening to people speaking English, like watching videos, watching, um, well, TV, the things that you regularly do, that you regularly watch on TV uh, in English. Like somebody was telling the, in the group that she used to watch Friends, and that is everyday conversations. So, um, they had to, but watch them with subtitles, right? With subtitles at the beginning. So you, you can understand completely the way they use the language. And repetition, okay, imitation, that helps a lot. So you need to pay attention how people speak, the phrases, the sentences, the questions, and try to repeat them, okay? Try to imitate them. So it's an, I mean, it's a difficult um, process. It's, it's not so fast. You have to go little by little, but in the end, it is uh, it is possible to improve. To see that, well, to hear that you are improving, your, that you're speaking uh, more fluently, but you need to be more exposed to that. First to listening and then speaking. So if you're not accustomed to listen to people speaking English, it's going to be difficult for you to have a reference. So if you hear someone saying, eh, I don't know, well, ah, I don't know. So it's not like when you just study by yourself and you see in the book, I don't know. So you need to really expose to the language more. That is what I was telling your classmates last time. You need to expose the language a little bit more. And um, as you say that at work, you need English for different in different moments. Well, so I recommend you that everything that you normally speak or that you normally comment at work or the kind of meetings or the, the topics that you usually have at work, think about, about them and what you could say in English like translate everything that you do at work or that you say at work in Spanish, try to say it in English. If at work, for example, the conversations are about, um, you, you said that there are brands, marcas, right? Brands, you work with yeah. brands. So if at brands, they talk about publicity, right? They talk about marketing, they talk about modifications or changes, right? Um, and you know that in the conversation you have to say, eh, hay que hacer, hay que contactarse con el gerente de mercadeo, o hay que um, programar una reunión con los representantes de la marca. If you know that you use those phrases in Spanish, and in a moment, you have to use those phrases in English, then write down, okay, everything that you normally say in Spanish and translate them to English. So whenever you have the, the, the opportunity to speak English at work, you know the phrases, you know the vocabulary, you know the pronunciation of the words. So anticipate what you are going to use, what you're going to say in English and look it up, right? Have your notebook uh, with expressions, with the vocabulary uh, ready, ready. So that would be my, my, my advice for you. 
and obviously don't be afraid uh, to make mistakes. Don't be afraid that your accent doesn't sound like uh, like if you are, uh, I don't know, from Canada or from the United States, that's not relevant. People just want to communicate with you. And the most important is that you know how to express your ideas. No matter the pronunciation, no matter the accent, they will get it, they will get it. So you have to focus on increasing your level of English, increasing your vocabulary, the use of the grammatical structures, right? Um, and knowing the vocabulary and the phrases that you need at work, because that's the moment that you have to practice English when you talk about work. So uh, try to write down everything. So in the next time, you, you, you know what you're going to say. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're very uh, welcome, I used to I used to watch cartoon in English because I think they they use easy words and then uh -huh. for learn to listen. I mm -hmm. watch in cartoon. Uh-huh. Now you should watch series or documentaries or I don't know, tutorial videos in English. Uh, so something that is more related to your area. Mm -hmm. If you are in marketing, okay, watch mm -hmm. some videos on yeah. marketing. If you are in the air, in the accounting. It's, mm -hmm. it's more about technical, technical English. Then okay. I read, I was reading in the, in the job, reading mm -hmm. information about the marks, about um, manuals, mm -hmm. or tutorials, and that's all in English. And okay. sometimes it helps. Excellent. When we talk about with uh, Indian or other, whatever mm -hmm. other country. So it is really good that you read, but it's necessary that you also investigate the pronunciation. So you know how to say that. Not only to understand, but also to speak. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. So have a good night and thank you for staying. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Goodbye.